what's going on? So today I'm gonna go over Toon Boy. This is for flashing the ECU and the Panigale. Go over everything from connection to pieces to the whole shebang and so pieces. First thing we come we get is an adapter. Um, this will plug right into the um, ECU port on the Panigale. Then we have a USB cable and it also powers the actual Toon Boy device called the WB-01. First thing I'm going to do is connect the actual WB box to the power cable slash USB cable. Get to my computer. Now I will tell you this, that it took me three hours to figure out how to connect this box to the computer. Not because I'm a moron per se, but because the software on here, the drivers for um, the actual box, it would not work with Windows 10. So I had to find a computer that I had from 2002 that actually had Windows Vista on it. And with that, it works. So as you can see, you have uh, Wi-Fi. You can do Wi-Fi, and that's for data logging. Um, and then they'll have a vehicle light that'll come on once I connect it to the motorcycle. Um, there's MTS light and then a power light. So all of this, the MTS blinks and the power light, it stays solid once it's connected to the actual computer. <clears throat> these shoes actually located underneath the seat, but you don't have to take the seat off. They have this nice convenient port right here. So, oh, and that's how you connect it to the ECU. And then this port, we're just going to connect this actual adapter here to the adapter for the ECU. It's a tight fit. So once that's done, then we're going to take our key and we're going to turn on the ECU. Now you won't notice anything on the dash once it's turned on. So I go to my Toon Boy folder that I put onto my desktop. I go to V6 files. I go to the Flash Mitsubishi. And then you'll see this pop up. That means it's connected to the motorcycle. And then here I go to select tune. And then all available tunes that actually came with the software and everything else will be listed here. So with the Tune Boy, which makes it kind of awesome, is that you have the option of buying um, this cruise control and also a tune. You have the cruise control only. And then you have the standard tune. The standard tune being the tune that is actually comes OEM with the motorcycle. So you can flash it back to its original state. The tune that I upload is the is that one right there. That is the Tune Boy, you can say um, modified can tune that they use for the motorcycle that they send with their whole packet. Now you can flash it into the actual here. So you would hit flash and then you will see preparing ECU, please wait. And then you'll start seeing progress bars as um, the ECU is being prepared. What happens is that the firmware on the ECU is erased and the new um, flash that you have selected or the new tune that you have selected gets downloaded. So as you can see here, 
is going through the whole flashing of the ECU. Now, if you take a look at the dash, all of the lights are on on the dash. So, there's nothing to get freaked out about. That just means that, hey, the ECU has been erased and now a new um, firmware is being uploaded. And it will continue to flash like that until the progress bar is complete down here. Now, like anything else, when you're trying to download something, you don't want to interrupt it in the middle of the download. So you definitely want to leave it alone, allow it to do its thing. It'll come up and it'll tell you when it's done. And then it'll tell you to turn off the motorcycle. That lets me know that the flash is complete. I can turn it off and it tells me to turn off the motorcycle. So what we're going to do, and see my dash goes back to normal, like when you first started and you haven't hit the starter button yet. So now I'm just gonna turn it off. And then I'm going to disconnect everything that I had connected. So back here is the little indention to put the cow. Now, a lot of people have lost their seat cows because they don't install it correctly. So what I like to do is get that indention in there, right? And then put my hand here, my hand at the back of the motorcycle and listen for that loud click. And then I also press it again. Then I shake it to make sure that it doesn't come off. Well, the Tomb Boy is kind of like a power command to plus. Um, it writes to the ECU. So it allows you to load maps and then you can choose between these trim tables as you go out and ride. Now the difference between the power commander and the Tomb Boy is that the power commander has to stay connected to the motorcycle. The Tomb Boy does not. You just flash the ECU, you finish with the download, you take it off and you're done. But it also has an expansion features too that you can pay for. You can add cruise control, you can add the quick shifter which allows you to do auto blipping, you can do live um, fuel mapping, I mean, there's a whole host of things. My biggest reason for buying it was I wanted to be able to reset the service indicator on the motorcycle. So this allows you to do that also. So when the motorcycle needs an oil change, the service indicator will pop up telling me that, hey, it's time for some maintenance. Well, I can do the maintenance myself, reset the indicator, and continue on riding which is a big feature, especially since the last time uh, the Pentagoli was at the shop, it was there for almost three weeks because of a map sensor. So if I can avoid losing the motorcycle for long periods of time because of just maintenance, you know, basic maintenance, then the better for me. Some of the jerkiness that I had at the lower end of the RPM is really gone. Like it's really, really smooth throughout throughout the RPM range. And I am really enjoying it. It's like the, the power is still there, but it comes on in a more linear function, which gives me more control. And of course, gives me more safety. So. Oh my goodness, this is so enjoyable. My problem before was that, you know, at four or five, five thousand grams, power would go from a little sedate to monstrous. But this is just awesome, smooth.
I don't feel any flat spots in the range. So, that's good. All I feel is just on power, just go, go, go. I gotta say, uh, other than uh, oil change that needs to happen, um, this motorcycle is pretty much ready for a track day. So I cannot wait to take her out. 